This is a short video tutorial to show you how to make error bars in the Macintosh version of Excel. This is the latest version of Excel. I believe it's Excel 2008 from Office 2008. And I'm also going to show you how to put specific labels down here on the x-axis for these columns. What I've graphed in this example are these cells here, this cell and this cell. And those two cells have already been placed on this column graph. Uh, and I've gone ahead and calculated standard deviation for these averages using the values of the 10 different subjects. So I've used that uh, range there to make the standard deviation and then calculate a standard error, which is of course standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size, which in this case is 10. So there's this cell divided by the square root of 10. And I've done that for both of the averages. So I basically now want to graph or add these two standard errors onto our chart. To do that, I'm going to double click on one of the columns to bring up this format data series window. And you see there's an error bar choice. I'm going to select that. And I want this type of error bar, which is a, a both, meaning I can show plus and minus. And it's up to you whether you want caps or no caps. So I'm going to select caps. And then I want to select custom so that I can tell Excel that these are the standard errors that I want to plot. So I'm going to specify value. And then it's going to ask me for the positive value and the negative value, both of which are these standard error values right here. So I'm going to delete what's in there now. And then for positive error value, I'm going to click on this box, which will allow me to select the standard errors I want. So I'm going to click on the first one and you see it automatically filled it in there. And I'm going to command click on the second one and select that box. And I'm going to click now on this box to enter the negative error values and do the same thing. I'm going to click on the first standard error, command click on the second, expand that box and hit OK. And then OK again. And there they are. Just to check to make sure that they're correct, these standard errors are both about 0.25. And if I look at the plus or minus on these standard errors, they're about 0.25. So those seem reasonable, and I think I probably plotted those correctly. So those are our standard errors. Now, to change the labels on the columns, I want to go up to Chart, Source Data, and I want to uh, name the category x-axis labels. I want to point to those labels. So if I click on this box here, I can click on the cell that has those labels, which is this cell and that cell. So I'm going to click on the first one, and then command click on the second. Expand this again, and notice they're there. Click OK. So now I have my error bars, I have my x-axis labels. The only thing left to add then is the y-axis label, and um, I think you already know how to do that.